serious what do you think is the creepiest slash most disturbing unsolved mystery ever? The Ibadan Forest of Horror in Nigeria. A local taxi driver goes missing, and his friends create a makeshift search party and investigate a forest. Instead of finding their friend, they find an abandoned school or factory that have the remnants of a hellish torture slash murder, ritual killing and human trafficking. Eight survivors were rescued. Numerous body parts, rotting corpses and personal artifacts were found. The perpetrators were never found, although local politicians and ritualists were suspects. Whilst this discovery is disturbing, the mystery for me is that the original taxi driver still hasn't been found. I'm an avid unresolved mysteries reader, and I don't know why it has stuck with my, but Carly Goose. 16 year old girl called her stepmother to pick her up from a party reportedly was too scared to sleep because she thought someone would kill her and the next day she disappeared there were some weird interviews and dynamics between step parents and birth parents and a bunch of theories abound the disappearance of zeb quinn https n wikipedia org slash wiki slash disappearance underscore of underscore zeb underscore quinn WPROV equals SFTI1. He was 18 years old when he went missing in 2000. Was working his shift at a local Walmart and afterwards wanted to look at a new car with a colleague when he allegedly received a call that made him take off frantically. After that he was never seen again. The strangest thing is that a few days later his car was found in a parking lot with the headlights turned on, a pair of lips and an exclamation mark drawn on the back window in pink lipstick and a live Labrador puppy sitting inside. In 2017 the colleague was arrested for his murder but all the strange details still make no sense at all. The disappearance of Lars Mitank, a German man who went on vacation in Bulgaria in 2014. He was last seen at the airport, where he was brought into a private room by airport security after his mother had called telling them her son was behaving strangely, saying there were people after him over the phone the night before. A few minutes later, he's seen bolting, and I mean full on sprinting out of the room without his luggage. He ran out of airport, scaled the huge fences around the perimeter, and was never seen again. Hundreds of witnesses, CCTV footage and a police presence and the man still basically disappeared off the face of the earth in broad daylight. <laughs> Firstly, the murder of John Bennett Ramsey, just the idea that her own parents might have done it is disturbing especially considering the circumstances, and also the Keddy cabin murders. Not only did the 14-year-old daughter of one of the victims find them tied up and stabbed to death, three more kids were still asleep in the bedroom, having no idea what had happened. A lesser known one that sticks with me is, Selena Mays, https, slash slash www, Burlington County Times com slash story slash news slash 2021 slash 12 slash 11 slash willing brand jaysel and amaze missing person 25 years slash 8 billion 858 million 145 thousand and two slash close bracket 12 years old nine months pregnant disappears from her room overnight she didn't bring any belongings with her and neither she or the baby have ever been found her dad and his family were involved with a shady church, but there's no proof they know what happened to her. The obvious theory is that her baby's father killed her and hid the body to avoid statutory rape charges. But nobody knows or will admit to knowing anyhow who he was. <laughs> Jessica Chambers. She was set on fire in her car and had gasoline poured down her throat. Paramedics found her walking down the lane on fire. The only part of her body that wasn't burned was the bottom of her feet. She did not survive. Police found a suspect, but did not have enough evidence to charge him. Paramedics were so traumatized by what they saw, they had to go through therapy and broke down on stage during interviews. She tried to name her attacker, but her throat was so destroyed, she couldn't be understood. <laughs> the murder of Robert Wohn, HTTPS, N, Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash murder underscore of underscore Robert underscore Eric underscore Wone is something I think about often. He was with friends, just staying the night, and what happened to him sounds brutal. Even more disturbing to me is the fact 
that everyone who was in that house that evening seemingly have a pact of silence and are walking around free as a bird. Missy Bevers. A suspect in full SWAT armor breaks into a church and smashes windows and breaks open doors with a hammer, looking for a local fitness instructor. They then find and beat her to death before getting away. There is high quality surveillance video of both them and their car, but investigators couldn't make out the license plate. There has been a suspect who was cleared because of an alibi, and there's been no recent updates. Elizabeth Barraza murder. She was murdered in her driveway in the early morning by a person, looked to be disguised as a woman. Grainy security footage and no answers. As a diver I find the disappearance of Ben McDaniels to be super interesting. They say he went into a cave and never came out. But some of the world's top cave divers looked for him and never found a body. The only evidence that he went diving were staged gas bottles, but they were filled with normal air not any sort of mixture or anything. The owner of Vortex Springs, where Ben went missing, also died mysteriously the year after. The murder of Lindsay Busiak, a case close to home for me that I don't see mentioned as much as it should. A relatively junior realtor in Victoria, British Columbia is showing a luxury home to some clients and the clients murdered her. The clients, a man and a woman, cold called her saying they needed to find something to buy as soon as possible. She was apprehensive of showing the property by herself and asked that her boyfriend come or wait outside or something. Turns out the boyfriend was running late and arrived the round as the murder just occurred. But I don't believe he saw anything as the suspects fled through the back door. It's believed that she was the victim of a professional hit for some unknown reason. Also, the cell phone that was used to contact her was purchased by someone with an alias in Van Calver six or so months prior and was only ever used to contact her. Here's the Wikipedia. HTTPS. N. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash murder underscore of underscore and say underscore Busiak. HTTPS. N. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash murder underscore of underscore and say underscore Busiak. Las Cruces Bowling Alley Massacre. In February. 1990. In Las Cruces. New Mexico, two intruders entered the bowling alley through an unlocked door before opening time. The cook, Ida Holgin, was forced by one gunman to go to the office where Stephanie Senek, her 12-year-old daughter Melissa Rapass, and Melissa's 13-year-old friend Amy Hauser were being held by the other gunman. The women and girls were forced to lie on the ground while the gunman stole $4 to $5k from a safe. The alley's pin mechanic, Steve Terran, arrived at the alley with his daughters, six-year-old Paula and two-year-old Valerie, who he'd been unable to find a babysitter for. The gunman then shot everyone. The gunman haphazardly set fire to the office, but it didn't burn much. After they left, 12-year-old Melissa was able to call the police despite being shot five times. She and the cook would survive their wounds. Melissa's mother, Stephanie Senek, would initially survive but would succumb to complications nine years later. Two-year-old Valerie would survive long enough to be taken to the hospital, but died there. The gunmen have never been identified. After the incident, Stephanie Senek's father, Ronald Senek, who I believe owned the bowling alley and was out of state at the time of the killings, didn't cooperate with authorities. Some believe that the killings might have been a targeted hit in retaliation against Ronald for something he did. In my opinion, it's the city of San Francisco train derailment that occurred in Harden, NV on the 8th of December 1939. The train, run by the Southern Pacific Railroad at the time, derailed at a bridge over the Humboldt River at a speed range of 60 to 90 miles per hour. The accident resulted in 24 fatalities and multiple injuries. Days later, investigators discovered tools at the bottom of the Humboldt River. Determining that the wreck was caused by sabotage of the rails. HTTPS. N. M. Wikipedia. Org slash wiki slash 1939. City underscore of underscore san underscore francisco underscore derailment. The yogurt shop murders that took place in Austin, Texas in late 1991. It's been the subject of a couple episodes on 48 hours and a book devoted to the case was published around 5 years ago. Who killed these girls? By Beverly Laurie. HTTPS. N. Wikipedia. 
org slash wiki slash 1991 backslash backslash underscore Austin backslash backslash underscore yogurt backslash backslash underscore shop killings https n wikipedia org slash wiki slash 1991 Austin underscore yogurt underscore shop underscore killings in 1969 a student was killed in the stacks of the library at Mild College, Penn State, and was found with a singular stab wound on her chest. It wasn't even late or anything. And while there were many suspects, no one was ever arrested for it. It's insane how someone could kill a person in broad daylight at a major university and get away with it. It's not really anything super crazy in comparison to other stories here. It's just weird to me personally, because I would always study there, and I didn't find out about it until after I graduated. The murder of the Swedish Prime Minister Olaf Palm. He was killed over 30 years ago and no one have found the murder. In a similar vein, the kidnapping and murder of former Italian Prime Minister Aldo Moro. To this day nobody knows where he was being held, or exactly who his captors were, other than the fact they were associated with the Red Brigades no arrests were ever made. For me the Tylenol poisonings are just off-putting with how easy it was, how widespread the poisonings were, how the guy was never caught, and the lost lasting impact of the incident. The Sitagaya family murder. HTTPS N Wikipedia org slash wiki slash Sitagaya underscore family underscore murder late on the night of December 30th, 2000 in Sitagaya, Tokyo. A man broke into the house of a family of four, strangled the son in his bed, stabbed the father, and brutally killed the mother and daughter. The killer then spent hours in the house eating their food, using their toilet, and going through their paperwork, like he owned the place, and eventually left, never to be found since. Honestly the Cape intruder isn't disturbing just weird as hell. During the night in Cape Main in like 2005 people who kept their doors unlocked would wake up to find a man staring at them, and he would quickly flee. No people were ever injured and nothing was ever stolen. They just watched people sleep apparently. The disappearance of the Beaumont children. HTTPS N Wikipedia org slash wiki slash disappearance underscore of underscore the underscore Beaumont underscore children. WPROV equals SFLA1. The Beaumont children are siblings who disappeared in 1966. There are still to this day investigations ongoing to try and find the remains of these children. There have been foundations of sheds and houses dug up. The children have never been found, and the suspect or suspects has never been identified. The West Mesa Bone Collector. The bones of dozens of women were found at a construction site. No other clues. What happened to Pedro Lopez? He is one of the most prolific serial killers in history and claims to have murdered over 350 women and girls. Since his release in 1998, his whereabouts are currently unknown. Ps. N. M. Wikipedia. ORG slash WIKI slash PEDRO underscore L percent C3 percent B3 PES underscore Serial underscore Killer. The Axeman of New Orleans. HTTPS. N. M. Wikipedia org slash wiki slash axman underscore of underscore new underscore orleans guy was murdering people but wrote a letter that he wouldn't kill anyone who played jazz in their home never caught the death of rebecca zahor https n m wikipedia org slash wiki slash death underscore of underscore rebecca underscore zahor has stuck with me zahor's nude body was found hanging from a balcony with her wrists and ankles bound and hands behind her back. Her death was ruled a suicide. As if that wasn't strange enough. Two days prior to her death. The six year old son of her boyfriend fell down a staircase and died. His death was ruled an accident. There's a lot to read about this case. And I highly recommend it. If you're into true crime. The case of backquote Adam immediately came to mind. Backquote unidentified male child whose torso was discovered in the River Thames in London, United Kingdom. On the 21st of September 2001, dubbed Adam by police officers, the unidentified remains belonged to a black male, around 4 to 8 years old, who had been wearing orange girls shorts. The post-mortem showed that Adam had been poisoned. 
His throat had been slit to drain the blood from his body, and his head and limbs had been expertly removed. Investigators believe the child was likely from southwestern Nigeria, and that several days before his murder, he was trafficked to the United Kingdom for a muti ritual sacrifice. To date, nobody has been charged with Adam's murder, and his true identity remains unknown. HTTPS N Wikipedia Org slash wiki slash Adam underscore murder underscore victim RIP little dude The Cleveland Torso Murderer From 1935 to 1938, there was a serial killer who chopped off the heads and appendages of 12 to 20 people and left their torsos for people to find. The famous detective Elliot Ness was on the case, and the killer taunted him by leaving two torsos within full view of his office. The killer was never identified, nor were the majority of the victims.